successfully capturing your dream, successfully hunting down the goal or vision you want to be in your life is not going to come down to the right tools. It's not going to come down to having the perfect coach or the perfect teacher. It's going to come down to your emotion, right? And how you handle the journey. You see, you can't detach how you feel from what you do. You can't attach what you think about from how you act. So how you manage the three layers of emotion that you're going to face on this journey will determine how far you get and if you become what you know you should become. All right, so I'm going to go through the three layers. Level one, right? That's when you feel excited about the journey. That's when you feel excited about losing weight. That's when you feel excited about practicing your basketball drills. That's when you feel excited about studying for the test. That's level one. That's the easiest level, right? But we both know those times are far and few between, right? The next level is the ordinary. The next level is, is what comes right after the, the moment where you were excited. The moment after the thrill is gone after the, the, the love and the lust of that journey is gone. That's the mundane. That's the ordinary. That's the regular part of the journey, right? That's the habits. Okay, so that, that, that's the next layer. But the most critical level of emotion, guys, is the downs. So we have the highs, right? When you're excited and you get the new shoes, the new workout, the new book, right? The, 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 the new seminar, that's the highs. Then there's the ordinary, which is most of the time, right? But the last level, that's the low. That's when you are down about your progress or lack thereof. That's when you feel like you're never going to make it, like you're never going to lose weight. You're never going to get better at basketball. You're never going to accomplish thing, this thing. You're never going to learn this particular thing in your schoolwork. That's the low. And most of us quit. We let that low pull us away from our dream. I'm telling you guys, management of that low is the critical element to success. It ain't the highs, right? We all dominate the highs. We all are all in and motivated and inspired when we're excited about it. We all get A plus work there. And many of us can get through the middle layer, the regular, the mundane, Right. When you're not too far removed from the excitement. And you can go through the diet for a week, you can go through the workout for a month, you can study for a quarter. But what happens when you feel down? When you get your first D. When you have your first week where you don't lose weight. When you feel like you won't ever get stronger or get better or you get benched. That's the low and how you handle that low is critical. So what I want you guys to do is anticipate that coming. Anticipate all three levels going like this in your life. I feel high. Here comes the regular. I'm going to fight through it. But here comes the low. I want you to anticipate that and be ready for the fight. And go into it with, with strategies to reduce the low of the low, to raise how low the low is. So I don't want you guys to, to not think you're never going to feel sad or depressed or down. What I want you to do is have strategies to get through it, right? Have a community around you to push you through those moments. Have a book to read, right? A video to watch, an audio tape to listen to, Coach Bobby's voice yelling at you. Have something to make sure that when you dip, it ain't too far. When you fall, it ain't too far. When you get down, it ain't by too much. All right, so how you handle these three layers is critical. The highs, the regular, and the lows. Let's keep the highs highs, right? And when it comes, let's be ready to maximize that week or that two weeks. It's going to be short, right? We know that. It's going to be short, right? When it comes, let's maximize. When we feel good about working out, let's go all in. Right. And then the regular, the mundane, let's be committed and disciplined. Right. And, and remain, remain committed to our dream and our vision. But let's be ready for the lows. 
right? Let's anticipate the lows and make sure we have strategies in place, right? To make sure we don't just lay in bed for two weeks. We don't just stop working out for a month. We don't just stop reading and getting better for, for three, four, five months. Let's make sure we have strategies to make sure that even though we're crying or we're down or we're upset, we're still doing something to make sure we don't fall too far. All right, so management of the highs, management of the mundane, right? But let's make sure that we manage the lows. We manage the lows, guys. And if we do that, guys, it'll be like this, right? But it'll be going up, right? And we'll look back in a year, in two years, in five years. And even though we can see times where we dipped, right? We'll know that we got through those because we were ready for them and prepared for them. And we anticipated them. And because of that, we got through them. All right, guys, let's do it. Highs, the mundane, but let's manage those lows. Love you guys. Have a good day.